Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner. Welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we are going to have fun. We are going to speak with Ron Carr about his new book called The Velocity Mindset. Welcome, Ron. Thank you, Gerhard. How are you doing today? I'm doing terrific. I'm, I'm going straight to chapter four of your book. What I read about here is you help people sort of transform failure and uh, and get him back on track with success. How do people do that? Well, first of all, a lot of people are doing everything that they can not to fail. And that is the worst thing they can do. As a matter of fact, when I was a manager many, many moons ago, um, you know, you had two types of salespeople that came to you. One person that was doing a lot, trying a lot and would fail. And then the person you never hear from because they're playing it safe. I valued the person who failed because it means that they were trying to do it and, and do something and learn from it. Now, if they learned from it, that was a great value. If they didn't learn from it and made the same mistakes, then we have an issue and we have to talk about it. The most successful people in the world have more failures and successes in their lives. It was the failures and the lessons learned in those failures that set them up for their next round of success. Gerhard, I don't know if you're a baseball fan or not. Are you a baseball fan? I love baseball, yeah. Okay, so you know that a 300 hitter that means a batter that gets three hits out of every 10 at bats, they could strike out seven times miserably, just get those three hits, they're considered a hero and then get paid millions of dollars. They're being paid for failure. They're being paid to make out seven times because they know from those mistakes, they're gonna get the timing down and they're gonna hit the ball right on the mark and they're gonna hit it when they have to and score those runs. That's what we're talking about. It reminds me of what Tom Hopkins said Tom Hopkins, yes. when uh, he said, "You let's say you get a thousand dollar commission on a sale and uh, you make 10 sales calls and eight people say no and two people say yes. Then uh, every time you get a no, you can say thank you for the hundred dollars. I will say that you know your numbers. So if you're going to make, let's say, 10 calls and only two people are going to talk to you and eight don't want to have anything to do with you then you know you got to get rid of those eight. So when someone rejects me, I'd say, thank you for exposing yourself as one of the eight. All I need to do is get to the person who's going to say yes, because the key thing that people don't understand is we don't get penalized for the no's in life, but we get rewarded for the yeses. And if we let the no's stop us, we'll never get to the yeses, and that's the shame in life. So how do you make that mindset shift? Because a lot of people get it intellectually and uh, agree with you. But when they experience failure, then they tend to personalize it and say, I'm no good. I don't have what it takes or I'll never be successful. Right. So how do you get rid of that negative self-talk that's related to failure? When we fail, we start telling ourselves a story as to what it means. No one else is telling us that story. We're telling it to ourselves. We're creating it. So if you create a story, you have every right and the ability to change it. So the first thing you wanna do is recognize that how you're feeling and the story you're telling yourself was just all made up and it's just your story. If you can acknowledge that it's a story, then you can deal with it a lot better. Now, look, the point is failure doesn't make anybody feel good, all right? You know, we feel insecure, we feel like we're not good enough, like we're a fraud, and, but at the end of the day, it's how you see it. If you sit there and saying, oh, I'm no good, and you let yourself get down into that rabbit hole, then yeah, it's tough to get out of it. The trick is to acknowledge it immediately when you start feeling that way. Acknowledging that it's a story and then start immediately to rewrite the story that you want. The story could be, hey, you know, I tried this. Congratulations, a lot of people didn't. It didn't work. What did I learn from it? And how am I gonna do it differently next time? But that also goes to another aspect of the situation where if someone, criticizes you or blames you or gives you a bad rating in a in a meeting as a speaker or whatever right. you know I, I i fall victim to this myself you know on a scale of zero to five i mean i'm rated like 4.8 4.7 but what stops me many times is those one or two people who gave me a one and yet the rest of them are giving me enough of an average of 4.8 and you have to ask yourself, what's wrong with yourself? But we all get stuck on that. And I have to, number one, pull myself away from it. But I do something else that I'm gonna encourage your listeners to think about. When someone gives us a rating, whether it's a five or a one, usually it has very little to do with who we are, what we did. Usually it has to do with what we triggered them with in our messages. 
And it's their issues that are coming out in the rating, not necessarily us. So if you understand it from that point of view, it's easier to deal with and you can move forward most often. It's a great lesson. I recommend that anybody who would like to learn more about how to shift your mindset from failure to success, get this wonderful book on amazon.com, The Velocity Mindset by Ron Carr. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Gerhard.